Welcome to Chapter 2 of Cat's Spooky Chats. Today's chat is going to be about one of the things that go bump in the night. A medieval creature that we all know and is very well known in every household. Some people love them, some fear them, heck, some even lust over them. Not sure what creature I'm referring to? I'm referring to none other than the witch. Many know about urban legends of the witch, but few know about their historical origins. So, with that being said, let's chat. (laughs) Chapter 2, The Witch and Its Mysterious Origin. Witchers are some of the oldest and most misunderstood beings, according to some. But it's said that no one knows exactly how far back the origin of the witch goes, but the earliest records of the witch date back to between 931 BC and 721 BC. The earliest records of the witch can be found in the book of the Bible, 1 Samuel. The witches of ancient times were said to be people who practiced magic spells and called upon spirits for help or change. It is said that in the book of 1 Samuel, King Saul sought the witch of Endor. He sought the witch to summon the spirit of the dead prophet Samuel so Samuel's spirit could help him defeat the Philistine army. Now, the Bible states that the witch rose Samuel's soul from the dead, but what Samuel had for Saul was not what he expected. When Samuel rose, he prophesied that Saul and his sons would lose their lives, and on the following day, they did just as he said. Saul lost his sons in battle, and he in turn took his own life. The origins of the witch go back so far in the Old Testament of the Bible. There are warnings about seeking witches to contact the dead. And in Exodus 22, 18, it says, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Now, though witches seem to be evil beings since the beginning of time, Some people didn't believe they were evil at all. Some believed that witches were merely misunderstood wise women who were simply just natural healers. And the term witchcraft, it actually means craft of the wise. And it is said that when the witches claimed to be able to perform magic and brew up their potions, the special potions that they brewed were actually used to help heal the sick. Now, over time, witches and witchcraft became demonized and associated with everything evil. And it wasn't long before witch hysteria took hold in nearly every town across the world. If you were a woman over 40 who lived alone, you could be suspected as a witch. If you were a childless woman... You could be accused of being a witch if children around you fell ill. If a woman cheated on her husband, she could be accused of being a lustful witch. If you mumbled under your breath, you could be accused of using black magic. Even the way you dressed could get you accused of being a witch. Suspected witches were tortured until they confessed. Some of the torture that the suspected witches endured includes muzzles that hair their tongues to prevent them from speaking, shackling the cell walls while not being allowed to sleep for days, piercing of their cheeks and tongue with iron forks, and the removal of their fingernails. 
widows and single women became the main targeted ones that were being accused of being witches. And once they confessed, they were burned at the stake. It is believed that 80,000 or more suspected witches were put to death between years 1500 to 1660. Now, as witch hysteria began to decrease and die down in certain areas of the world after 1660, it began increasing in other places such as America. And one of the most well-known witch trials is the one that took place in Salem, Massachusetts in 1692. The Salem Witch Trials. Now, the Salem Witch Trials begin with little 9-year-old Elizabeth Paris and 11-year-old Abigail Williams. One day, the little girls began suffering from fits. And those fits, they included uncontrollable screaming and body contortions. Now, as time passed, more and more young girls in the town began to suffer from the same fits. And the town became hysteric. The town began blaming black magic for the girls' symptoms. Black magic that they believe came from witches. The town turned the hysteria on three young women and accused them of being witches. They believed the women were behind what was happening to the girls. The three women accused of witchcraft were Sarah Good, Sarah Osborne, and Tatuba. And Tatuba, she was a slave that was owned by nine year old Elizabeth Paris's father. Now, Tatuba, the enslaved woman, she confessed to being a witch and she began blaming others of doing black magic also. And those that she blamed, they blamed others. And this continued until about 200 people had been accused of being a witch. And on June the 10th, Bridget Bishop became the first of the accused to be put to death. Bridget was hanged at the Salem Gallows on June the 10th, 1692. She is known as the first witch in American history. Now, when it was all said and done, 18 people who were said to be witches lost their lives. Six of those people were men. Now, let's chat about some symbolism and beliefs when it comes to the witch. Getting rolled by a witch or a witch on your chest. Now, doctors say it's sleep paralysis. But many religions beg to differ. And the religions say that it's actually a hag, a demon, a jinn, or a witch that is sitting on your chest as you lay in bed. The witch's broom. Witches are said to be lustful creatures who flew around the night sky to participate in orgies and other illicit acts. And witch trial transcripts, they refer to the witches as rubbing hallucinogenics on their genital areas to facilitate an altered state and magical flight. And brooms were said to be lubricated and used as toys by the witch. Now the first witch to confess to riding a broom was a man named Guillemin Idlin. Now he was a priest who was arrested in 1453 and he was tried for witchcraft. Edlin had publicly criticized the church's warnings about witches. So he was tortured until he confessed. Now he did repent, but he was still in prison for the rest of his life. The witch's hat. 
Now, there are several theories as to the origin of the witch's hat. An older theory is that when the mummified remains of the witches of Sabiski were discovered, I'm sorry, Sabishi were discovered, they were wearing very tall pointed black hats that resembled the iconic headgear of their medieval sisters. Now, Sabishi dates back to between the 4th and 2nd centuries BCE. Now, the second theory is in 1215, the 4th Council of Lateran, they issued an order that all Jews must wear identifying headgear, which was commonly a pointed cap known as a Juden hat. Now, this style of hat soon began to be associated with Satan worship and black magic. Now, the third theory of the witch's hat, it claims that the witch's hat began as L wife hats. Now, the L hats or the L wife hats, they were distinctive. This distinctive headgear, it was worn by women who brewed beer at home that they would sell. Now, the hats, they began to gain negative attention when the male-dominated brewing industry began accusing the ladies, who were also their competition, of selling diluted or tainted beer. The men also began to say that the women were in an occult and they were practicing witchcraft because they had knowledge of herbal medicine. Pointed shoes. Now from the 14th through the 16th century, pointed shoes, they were quite popular and a fashion trend until the church began associating them with sex and sin. Now this was said to be due to the shape and it was believed that the points prevented people from kneeling while praying. The shoes eventually became known as Satan's claws. The black cat. Now, as I mentioned in chapter one of Cat Spooky Chats, the origin of Halloween, black cats have been associated with evil since nearly the beginning of time. Now, it is believed that the witches, they took the felines on as their little supernatural servants. And they even used the felines' bodies as vessels to travel when they needed them a good disguise. There is so much that can be said about the witch. But that's the end of today's spooky chat for us. And beware, because there are many more stories to come. Please like the video. Please share the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you would like to support the channel in a monetary way, the information to support will be in the description of the video. And until next time, peace, love, and blessings.